Atlantis, the legendary island said to have thrived in the Mediterranean Sea, was supposedly destroyed by the sea itself. Its inhabitants, believed to be descendants of the Titan Atlas, were said to have worshipped Poseidon, the god of the sea, more fervently than Zeus. According to Plato's Timaeus, Poseidon gifted Atlantis with a large amount of orichalcum, a precious metal found only in the depths of the sea. Plato described it as a metal more precious than gold, shining with beautiful rainbow colors. This legendary metal was also said to be incredibly hard, and was supposedly worn as shin guards by heroes like Hercules and Theseus. Empowered by orichalcum, Atlantis rose to become the dominant power in the Mediterranean. However, with continued prosperity, the kings and nobles of Atlantis grew increasingly arrogant, drifting apart from their people. The populace, too, became corrupted by luxury and indulgence, neglecting their duties and losing their faith. Fueled by their newfound power, they attempted to conquer Athens, another prominent Greek city-state. Poseidon, however, decreed that they wait five years before attacking. As the time for war was not yet right, Ignoring Poseidon's command, Atlantis immediately assembled an army, breaking their trust with the god. This act of defiance ultimately led to their downfall. Protected by Athena, the goddess of war, the Athenian army decisively defeated the Atlantean forces in a strategic counterattack. In addition to the military defeat, Poseidon, enraged by the betrayal, unleashed a series of natural disasters, including volcanic eruptions floods, and earthquakes, ultimately sinking the fallen city of Atlantis into the depths of the sea.